What's good, YouTube? Thanksgiving. Uh, we got three good games coming on, all of which uh, are pretty relevant for the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, the first one, I believe, will be the uh, Detroit Lions versus the uh, Green Bay Packers. This one is actually the most relevant uh, for us because uh, we're only one game up on, um, on on Detroit. So a loss there will help us. Um not counting on it. I expect them to handle business there at home against a team that's not very good. Uh, but a nice young quarterback that, that I'm excited to see. You know, I'm going to see how he looks. Uh, it's a division game, so, you know, uh, Detroit cannot better not take them lightly. But I don't expect them to. You're talking about national stage at home. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't think they, they, they're they going to they're gonna lose that one. Right? So, we just had to handle business um, um, against Buffalo. Second game, Cowboys, Commanders. I actually think the Commanders are going to win the game. Yeah, crazy as it sounds. Commanders should not win, but I think they will win. Um, doesn't help that, that Chase uh, Young is out. Even though Tyron Smith plays, he probably would have handled him well. That guy's still on the other end. You know, I would have been putting Chase over there because he's sweet, right? He's sweet. Sweeter than Walter Payton, man. Um, so... Dallas, though, at home shouldn't lose to the Commanders, but I think they will. Yeah, I think they will. It's the type of game, man, that those guys, like, if they're forced to be in a shootout like we were, the Commanders can kind of do that to them, even though, I don't know, it's possible that uh, Dallas secondary might play the Commanders better than we did. Um, something wrong with our secondary. Uh, Dallas secondary is probably a little better than ours, you know, so. But I still like the Commanders in that game. And I just cannot wait to make a post game about that when the Cowboys lose. Third game of the day is pretty, pretty, pretty interesting too. Uh, 49ers versus the Seattle Seahawks. <clears throat> I don't know how I prefer this one to go. See what happens is, I think it's it's in Seattle, which is going to be tough for the 49ers, right? I think the 49ers win, though, because uh, they kind of, like, have the big brother thing over the, over the Seattle. Seattle is the new up-and-coming team there who's going to give them problems, man. I, I like the young secondary Seattle has. Um, Geno Smith is playing not, not as crazy as he was last year, but, you know, probably a decent quarterback. Um, I like their receiving core. I think... They, they, it's going to be interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if Seattle could win that, but you know, I'm not picking it. And then really, honestly, uh, we, we got the 49ers next week. I would actually rather deal with the 49ers coming off a, a win there in Seattle. We're talking about they got to play in Seattle. They got to go fly to Seattle to, um, today, win that game. But they actually, but honestly, they actually get a small buy now that I think about it. So it won't bother them as much. But I, I don't think there is a way the 49ers uh, travel and beat us in Philadelphia. Even though I, I, was, I was somewhat impressed with them traveling to Jacksonville and winning that. Typically, when they got to travel uh, across country like that, they, they don't have the mental toughness to win those games. Um, they did, and they do have. A, they do play a brand of football that can travel typically. Um, yeah, I'm. A, I'm gonna say 49ers win, and then we gotta handle them next week. Man, this is really, really crazy. This, this, the schedule they gave the Eagles. I don't know if I've ever seen the type of schedule in my life. You know, to play the defending champs. Last week, didn't have to play the Buffalo Bills, uh, a hungry Buffalo team. This week, good thing we're at home. That's gonna be that's gonna that's gonna be it's gonna be tough because you have to constantly get up for these games. You know, you got to constantly get up for these games, man. So you got Buffalo, then the Forty ers then them damn Cowboys again. That is insane. That's insane. That's insane. Because really what happens is if you do lose to one of these teams, especially like say we lose to the Eagles. So let's say we beat uh, the 49ers, we beat Buffalo. Let's say if that happened, the Chiefs. 
Then you turn around and lose to the Cowboys, right? These casual fans out here and the nature of the way that this media and sports business um, works, they'll actually think that that's some legit thing for the Cowboys. You know, the Cowboys are playing 10 can after 10 can after 10 can, you know, um, at this point of their schedule. They would still be impressed with that. Like, I think that's pathetic. Uh, but that's, that's how they look at it. Um... They got the Commanders today. If I'm not mistaken, do they have Seattle next week? Uh, I got to look at their schedule. I'm not not certain. You know. But uh, they they would act like, you know, Dallas really did something. You know. They they don't understand. Dallas Cowboys could never survive a schedule like like this one the Eagles had. There's no way. They, they lack the mental toughness to constantly win these types of games. Um, I don't even think they're capable of winning four games in a row, four or five in a row. No. That's why I got them losing today. So, um, yeah, that, that, that's it pretty much uh, for that. So... Just sit back, watch some of these games, eat some food, and uh, get ready for the Bills on Sunday, man. Peace.